We've already purchased 14 properties and 166 are on the books. Uh, we may not be able to buy them all and we may not be able to buy them all now, but there's no problem. By passing any of the changes that this Charter Commission is even considering defeats the will of the people. We've been on the ballot three times. The public has made it extremely clear that they want this in the form it is exists in today. Um, during Mr. Kanoy's uh, administration, he illegally stopped funding this um, pump fund and the maintenance fund. And the reason it's illegal is his, was his decision was in violation of the charter. We, the only way we can force county employees to do their job is to sue them. And it takes years to get it through the court. And then they say, oh, yes, you're correct. However, it's moot because that person's out of office. It goes on all the time. We had a terrible problem getting this on the ballot the first time. Fortunately, the council did pass it. Um, they're using the excuse <clears throat> that we need more police officers. We always needed more police officers. And in the good times, we don't get them anyway, especially in West Hawaii. Everything seems to be over in Hilo. We need 2% because we have the biggest land mass, we have the most treasured lands, and we have 200,000 plus people on this island. If you compare us to Honolulu that has almost a million people, theirs is only a half a percent. But you've got a million people, the five times as many people putting that into their fund. <clears throat> so they, they have a better advantage. The other counties are much smaller. If we don't buy these land parcels now, they won't be available in the future. And the very thought of turning over the administration to a private person makes me want to just scream. Because you can look at Hokalia, all the lawsuits that are won on, on that county uh, parcel of land, all the illegalities that they did, they committed, and they still close off the trail, and ultimately they actually move the Alaloa Trail. That's what happens when you have a private entity owning the public lands. We need to be able to get to our mountains, our seashores, our shoreline, and not have the public stopped by private ownership. Um, there's no good reason to change anything in this punk or its maintenance fund. And so I'm asking you to please leave it alone <clears throat> so we don't have to go through the nightmare of having to spend tens of thousands of dollars to, to uh, alert the public to that you're once again trying to take the pump fund and the maintenance fund or strip it down to the point it's not functional. We have 166 properties still left to go through. The commission cannot buy them all at once and we need all the pump funds that we've got to continue forward in the future. Thank you. I want to make it clear that this administration has never been against the principle of punts. What we're talking about is adjustment of review of that. A 2% of the top indicates because that's the only part of the county budget uh, that is set aside for a particular purpose. I don't care what else it is. What does that equate to annually? Approximately $6 million a year now. I would like a review of the program to go back to the intent of it, to act as seed money. I think you will see that this administration has always support the protection of special lands. At the time, I did write that we were against the ponds because we felt that we could do that equally or maybe even better uh, by presenting to the county council for bonding of certain lands that need to be purchased in that way you would have a total community involvement and open view of uh, what was being presented. There are various things I think you can consider in regards to the 2% There's a money to take it off a very tight budget, especially of this present, uh, past couple of years. I need a review on how much of that is reasonable in comparison with any place else. I proudly say in comparison with any place else. Or modification in regards, can we use part of the money for the maintenance of parks? It is not a way, uh, please understand our position is not to take away from the principle of protecting special lands. We know that is very important. Outside of the lower rate, you know, Let's take a simple example that the present ordinate uh, charter says we cannot ever sell it. 
I cannot ever use the 2% funds for any of the maintenance of any park or any lands purchase. It presents a simple problem sometimes if the land uh, should be given or sold to the state or national park or whatever reason that uh, Charter prevents any of that for even consideration.